Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Parsa or Iupad, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new Hypixel Skyblock video. So I'm sure many of you have heard, and if you guys have not, basically Floor 7 has gotten a new update and the boss fight is completely reworked and different. The background footage will be playing on the screen now, but we'll also examine it a lot more in depth later on into the video. So basically, first off, M7 has not been released yet at the time of recording this video, but it will be released tonight, again at the time of recording this video. The Floor 7 boss fight is also closed, again at the time of recording this video, but it was open for a short amount of time of about 30 minutes. And with that bit of time, me and a couple of my friends got to test it out on stream and we actually completed only one run out of about four. Now, lots of people are actually panicking about this and they think that it's extremely hard, but it really isn't as hard as people think it is. We just don't really fully know how to do it yet. So today I'm bringing you guys this video to give you guys a few beginner tips at least and tell you guys everything we know about the new Necron boss fight. But before we start this video, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really does help me out. Also, join my Discord server down in the description because we often do giveaways in there. Anyway, without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so first, let's talk about the foundations of how everything works and what's changed. Okay, so first off, there are multiple bosses now. Basically, the first phase has Maxer, the second phase has Storm, the third phase has Golder, and the fourth phase has Necron. These are all just withers with different names, but the mechanics of the boss fight is also very different. So now a new core mechanic is that every single one of these bosses has to be killed individually. Now we're not too sure exactly how it works yet with the health, but you have to kill each one of these bosses individually. So for the first part, it's just like always, you have to get crystals and you're fighting Maxer. But it's a little bit different because the way it works is that you have to actually get the crystals twice. So as you can see on screen now, the first time you get the crystal and you lure him into the beam. But you can actually do damage and it just instantly resets off the beam. Then you have to get the crystals once again and then bring him back to the beam. And then you do damage to him. But here, you actually just straight up kill him, and as you can see on screen now, he literally just dies. It's kind of a funny death animation. And then you head to phase two. Also, the hole just opens and you just jump down. You're no longer brought down because, well, the boss is dead. So for phase two, it's actually going to be Storm. Now, this works very differently. So basically, there are two parts to Storm. The first part is just him shooting fireballs in the air, and when it lands on the ground, it shoots a ton of lightning bolts. Now, these lightning bolts have been a common issue for a lot of people, and the way to counter these is just to go under a pillar. So yes, the lightning bolts basically one tap everything, but it's super easy to counter. All you have to do is just stand under one of the pillars. Then in part two, it's going to go down and aggro people. You have to crush it with the pillar just like you normally used to crush it, and you actually have to do this two times. Once you've done it twice, and you deal enough damage to kill Storm, then you go down to part three. So part three hasn't changed all that much, but it kind of has. Golder actually has four big flight giant swords that chase you around when you drop down, and you also can't skip terminals anymore. You heard me, right? You literally can't skip terminals. You have to do each one one by one. There are a couple of new terminals, and I'm not sure about all of them, but here are some of them on screen. So one of them, you basically have to match all of the colors to the same color, and you have to make it orange. It also cycles through four colors. Another one of them, I can't really describe, but you can kind of see it on screen now. The glass panes move right and left, and you have to click it when it's on the right one. Also, there's a bunch of TNT on the roofs, and it falls on you, and you basically just have to dodge them. Now, once you're done with the terminals, the hole that brings you down to part four will actually be blocked off, and you have to kill Necron by doing damage to him to get to the next part. Now, the next part is just like Floor 7 before the changes. It's Necron, and you literally just have to shoot him. It's just a little bit harder to kill him, as he's more tanky and does more damage. And yeah, that's basically it for the new Floor 7 boss fight. Now, you do actually get more catacombs xp we managed to complete one s run and it was my first run of the day but i got 66,000 catacombs xp from it so that isn't too bad also the loot pools have been buffed a lot so it should make drops easier to get but yeah you guys should let me know what you guys think about this new update and the changes in the description down below personally i actually really like it and although it makes runs way way longer and more challenging it also makes the thing more fun and more interesting and requires more team coordination but anyway that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe also make sure to join my discord server down in the description because we do giveaways in there quite often and yeah i'll see you guys later have a good day peace